Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP Daily for November 15th, 2012. Okay, so let's start off with some application news. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, Google is putting the finishing touches on its Google Maps application for iOS before submitting it to Apple for approval. Now, obviously this has gotten a lot of attention just because a lot of users are really uh, displeased with Apple's decision to uh, forego Google Maps on iOS in favor of Apple's own mapping program, which uh, is plagued with a bunch of different bugs and problems and, you know, it's just not as accurate as Google's, if, if only because Google has had years and years to uh, perfect their map application. Now another big draw for this application is that it's rumored to have turn-by-turn -turn directions involved, which would be super cool. Only time can tell if this story is true, and even if it is, there's no way of knowing if Apple's going to approve the application or not. Uh, but fingers crossed that the company does and we finally have the option again for Google Maps if we want them. Okay, moving on, the iPad mini has been getting a lot of attention lately just because it's the new kid on the block, uh, but the iPad 4th generation full-size 9.7 inch version, that was a really convoluted way to say the 4th generation iPad with a 9.7 inch Retina display, is also a new iPad on the market and it's also an incredible device. Uh, it came out about 10 days ago and today we have Steven's full written review. Um, just to give you a little spoiler, it's very, very near perfect according to him. I mean, I love my third generation iPad. Uh, really, I can't see anything wrong with it. And Apple somehow improved upon that one for the fourth generation, so it's gotta be pretty great. You can check out the full review and the link in the description down below, but just know that if you are considering an iPad fourth generation, um, it's a great device. Okay, let's finish off with some pretty strange news. Uh, apparently two guys at JFK Airport managed to pull off a heist in which they stole 3,600 iPad minis, which amounts to $1.5 million worth of iPad minis. Apparently they loaded two pallets of iPad minis with a forklift onto their truck and drove away and I am very, very surprised that this happened. I honestly have to say I can't uh, some in too much sympathy for Apple just because it's one well, of the richest company in the world and you know a couple iPads lost or a, a lot of iPads lost you know oh well but I will say that I do feel bad for the customers that those iPads were intended for you know these things are kind of hard to come by and if you have one coming in the mail you get the email confirming that it's shipping to you and then oh uh, Sorry, it's stolen. Um, that's definitely a bummer. Police are investigating now. They think it's an inside job, so hopefully we'll have some more information soon. Okay, well that's all the big news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, uh, do you agree with me with this whole theft thing? Like, do you feel bad for Apple that so many iPads got stolen? Or, uh, I think it's kind of funny. So, I mean, I just want to know how you guys are feeling too, or if I'm like a, a sick, cold person. Uh, so you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything in the description down below. That doesn't make sense. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.